In this video, I'm going to show you a pretty special vehicle that is easy on the eyes and easy on the wallet and maybe the best in its category. The Arma Fury 2S for $170. All right, not bad, huh? So this is the short course category, two wheel drive only, and it's from the company called Arma. And I think this is their comeback, their resurgence uh, into some innovation. I really like it. And $170 is crazy. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna do uh, top speed runs in uh, 2S configuration, their stock battery, and then 3S, I'm gonna upgrade this thing right away. And then I'm gonna go rally on a short course track and then I'm gonna do some jumps. And then finally, I'm gonna give you guys some pros, cons, and tell you about an upgrade that I think you guys need to do. Pretty good looking, right? This is the category that was started by the short course two-wheel drive slash a long time ago. Got many people into the hobby, so maybe this thing will do the same. And this really blows away the competition because for $170, nothing comes close to it. Uh, they're all over 200 now and 170 is pretty aggressive. So before I lose you guys, let's have some fun and take it out on a top speed run with a 2S LiPo battery. An hour. Twenty one point seven miles an hour. Okay, not bad. Huh? Twenty one point seven miles per hour box stock, and that's with a two S battery stock, everything. And when you do the their package, which comes with a big nickel metal hydride battery, the top speed is about the same. So now let's upgrade it to. 3S, I think that the true potential of this vehicle, unfortunately, it comes with a two-in-one receiver that's only 2S capable. So to do 3S, you have to uh, change the ESC, which means you have to change the receiver as well. But hey, hopefully you have one of those lying around. So 3S battery, here we go. Top speed is 30.5 miles an hour. And then so one. there you go, the top speed is 30.5 miles an hour. Uh, with the stock gearing, I think we could just change the gearing and make it go a whole lot faster, but we just left it with the stock pinion gear right there, 30.5 miles an hour. Now we're talking, now we're talking uh, fun, you know, yeah, now you can do some jumps, now you can race your friends, and uh, it's a lot more sufficient for what this vehicle can handle. So let me describe to you guys this vehicle, open it up a little bit so you understand it a little better. Great body, uh, great suspension, clearances are good, good steering, and you know the battery is right here, very convenient. Boom, uh, and it can host a big battery. I'm using small battery, so you will need a spacer and kind of put it close towards the rear. And the real innovation here is uh, a new body mounting system that I've never seen. And basically you have these red tabs, uh, body clips that you pull, and then now you can just separate the body. Which is crazy because and the real innovation here is the body clips stay with the chassis. You don't have to retrieve them from somewhere and they're not tethered by a rubber, they're just in there. Look at these things. Uh-huh, <laughs> not bad, huh? Uh, all right, so here it is. Is this body was made possible by that Arma Gorgon, which is a kind of a, a, a unibody uh, exoskeleton right there, and uh, makes it very simple, very, very durable. Now it's not possible to upgrade this to four-wheel drive because the battery uh, goes right here. You know, there, you can't have a shaft going through here. So that's one limitation of this vehicle. But what they have is a very strong structure. The Shock towers are part of the, the, the frame, so they're not, they're not gonna bend them, uh, nothing gonna happen to them. And then what I really like is the bumper uh, is kind of molded into the, the, the skid, the chassis, and look at that, look at the material on this. 
there are no bending this thing. And look at this oval thing. That is a shock absorber. When you hit this thing at 30 miles an hour into a wall, that thing will take the hit and not break. Same thing with the rear. And the rear bumper is very beefy uh, as well. So this right here is the magic. Uh, they have a very durable drivetrain, a, a differential, uh, and the motor is, is, is hidden right here, well protected uh, from the elements. The ESC, it used to be uh, two in one, now I have a uh, ESC separate from the uh, receiver right there. So a lot of room uh, and just a handy machine. So now, why don't I take you to some short course running, see how this thing handles because you know, two wheel drive, sometimes it's not so easy to uh, keep the wheel from spinning around. Okay, handling test. We go to a unmaintained baseball field or softball field. So it's very sandy, very loose, and this thing does okay. You know, you gotta watch your throttle, a little uh, drift there, a little slide, and then you can control the slide, you know, as it gets, uh, as it whips it out. So right there, a little power sliding, apply some throttle. So controllable, uh, much more controllable than the stock slash or the even the Senton two-wheel drive. And here we do some some grass, and here it's very easy to control. Lots of traction here, and it does get bogged down on the heavy grass, but man, it, it just keeps straight, no stabilization whatsoever so pretty fun all right not bad huh so it handles pretty darn good the front rear uh, balance is good uh, and the tires are gummy enough uh, that you could really play with it on the dirt now, mind you, it's a two-wheel drive vehicle, so you know when it's super loose, uh, you're gonna ha need to really catch it uh, be before it breaks loose, or you could have some kind of stabilization, maybe one of those FlySky radios, uh, so you could uh, give it give it some auto correction. You know when the conditions are super loosey goosey. All right, finally, let me take you to some jumps. Let's see if this thing can handle a little beating and uh, the, the you know the big air and then uh, and 3s of course and then uh, come back to me and i'll give you pros cons and that one key upgrade that you need for this vehicle all right jump test this is not really what this thing is for and this is a very loose little bike track two-wheel drive is hard doable but not so much fun so i'll just do a couple jumps here and uh, it jumps a little bit uh, on 3S. And this is where you want 3S as opposed to 2S. 2S you can hardly so it's as loose as it gets. get itself off the ground. But, but 3S you can, can get some air. Uh, and this thing can take it. Uh-huh, both ways. It's got to be a flight of throttle gently so and walk. it's good. And you this turn. is a very tough one. This is super yeah. loose. Oh, long run up. And uh, it does it does pretty good. So surprising. But a two wheel drive short okay. course truck can have a little bit of fun. Exciting. Obviously short course you wanna be short course racing, but if you don't have that opportunity, your kid and wanna make some jumps, you wanna see how this thing can handle the jumps. So it can take the beating. It's not so easy to correct in midair. No parachuting, but uh, not bad on, on, on 3S. You're pitched up like this, you can't just brake because there's it's only two wheel drive, one thing, and then the wheels are not, the tires are not so big that they're ballooning that you could uh, affect your, the attitude of your vehicle. Also, the uh, body has no venting whatsoever, so there's some parachuting uh, going on. When this thing catches air, it just kind of goes like this. So you could punch some holes here if you're doing a lot of air time. So let's get to some pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. 
The first one is it's a simple and elegant and durable design. I mean, this thing uh, really started by the Gorgon and I'm glad they, they kind of ran with it because this thing is gonna stand the test of time. Uh, a very simple design. This thing is just not gonna break. It's very nice. The drivetrain is very good. All right, the second uh, advantage is the battery tray is very nice and convenient. You don't have to take the body out. All you need to do, and no, there's no clips. You just uh, put your two fingers in and then boom, you're like that. Uh, mind you, you put, have to put the battery right here uh, beforehand and then place it. Uh, and that's the easiest way to put it on. All right, the second pro is this innovative uh, body clip design. And uh, what's going on here, uh, the body, uh, aside from very being ha very handsome, is supported by this clipless mounting system. Initially, to make it easy, you know, just Put it upside down so you can see the whole alignment and then just aim it that way boom boom and then push the tabs in the third advantage is because it's so open you see that uh, that makes this body mounting system possible you could just you could stick your hand in here uh, there's no chassis that's in the hand way of your hands and then click audible click and then the switch as well for your ESC is easy to reach right there okay the third advantage is the suspension is 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 very good boom it's got some good travel uh, adjustable no leaks uh, sufficient damping for the amount of action that this, this thing can take another advantage is the transmission is durable it is made to handle 3s brushless you know if you look at the size of that gear it is crazy how how big it is and finally the body is so awesome uh just look at this thing you know flared out fender so so there's no interference with it with the tires uh the bumpers are are, are, are right there uh handsome looking body you know the green color mm, uh, but uh really and 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 fairly thick lexan all right let's get to the cons nothing is perfect 170 dollars uh you know one of the cons is the color is limited by your package so 170 dollars all you can get is the lime green version you know they should have stuck with the with the red or the, the other color that they have uh, two colors available on the 200 dollars version with batteries but really most of us hobbyists we don't need those nickel metal hydride batteries uh, so this is the one the bar, the color, the, this is the package you want to get, but it's gonna, you're stuck with this color. The next con is the battery uh, that they ship with with the package. And the reason why I don't want that package is it comes with a nickel metal hydride battery like this. that's super heavy, even as a hump. And let me tell you, that thing uh, has the exact same power as uh, a 2S battery like this. So, you know, you're carrying a lot more weight. You're using old technology. And most people, you know, they just... Uh, as their experience, they just they just uh, uh, they just end up not using that kind of battery. Okay, another con is come out of the factory. It comes shipped with a two-in-one ESC and receiver, and those are never that good because it's a combo. They save a little money, but then when you need to upgrade uh, the the receiver, you have your own radio. Then you have to change the ESC if you want uh, the ESC a little different. Then uh, you have to change the receiver. So bad situation. For upgrading and let me tell you that thing needs upgrading because it's only 2s capable 2s like this 20 mile an hour speed limit or top speed if you had a 3s which this car is so capable of uh, then you need to upgrade your ESC uh, and then you have to change your receiver as well luckily I have a bunch of those uh, on the shelf okay another disadvantage is it is difficult to put a brushless system because of how the motor uh, is situated uh, it's just a little hole like this. Most brushless systems uh, are 540, you know, have tabs you know, that on top of the motor, not on the back. And you can't fit them uh, on a hole this small. So that is, makes it difficult to have like uh, five brushless systems. Only one will fit on this one. And finally, I think one of the biggest weaknesses of this vehicle is the motor cannot breathe. Uh, there is no airflow. You know, the thing is trapped in here. Uh, they put a hole on top, but really there's no natural uh, way uh, for the air to cool your motor. So you end up with a hot motor. That leads me to the number one upgrade, which is I think you need a fan, a fan right here. I'll link it in the description, put it right here, feed off your receiver and then you are, or your ESC, 
and then you are good to go. Uh, and that I think is going to be essential with stock motor or, or even a brushless motor and will allow you to use different pinion gears uh, with, your, uh, with your vehicle. So bottom line, what do I think of this vehicle? I think it's a slam dunk runaway winner right here. You know, make short course good again, make racing good again, and it's gonna get a lot of people in the hobby, uh, and hopefully the competition will come so we can, we can race simple cars, cheap cars that we could get going. Uh, so $170, oh my God. And uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you better because I'm gonna review these other cars. This is the Vortex that shares the, the same chassis and the Gorgon, uh, which I reviewed already right here, but we're gonna have them on a shootout and see which one is the right one for you. Thanks a ton, everybody.